Hello and welcome to another Franchise Hockey Manager stream. My name is Adam. I'm the Community Manager of Franchise Hockey. With me as always and not pictured on your screen is FHM producer Jeff. Say hi, Jeff. Hey, everybody. And we are back with Swimming in the Deep End 2021-2022 San Jose Sharks season. Jeff, it is trade deadline season. We're not there yet. I mean, it's the end of next month. We're at the end of January. But it's time to start making a decision. We're three games over. 500 but we are getting our butts kicked in the western conference that's the only words i can use here yeah i mean theoretically we've got a chance at the playoffs but i'd say maybe one in five one in six at the very best so the question is uh do we deal some veterans and maybe clear up some cap room for uh you know potential free agent spending in the off season yeah and we ended last uh our last episode, which was two weeks ago now, uh, so back in the er beginning, or er, uh, what uh, uh, math hard? May twelfth on May twelfth, we got a trade proposal from Calgary who wanted, and I honestly can't remember. Calgary wanted, oh right, for, to take Brent Burns off her hands for twenty-year-old center Connor Zary. And Jeff and I were debating this kind of at the end, and we decided to leave it till we came back to today to make a good decision. So let's look at Connor Zary here, twenty years old, currently yep. a two star or yeah, two star talent, four and a half potential. That's how we see him. Others believe he's one point five five point zero. So maybe not a guy who's jumping into our lineup immediately, and he has only put up sixteen points in the AHL. Yep. But former Flames first round pick, it was a low first round pick, but still uh, 24th overall. Yeah. But uh, I mean, the, the production in the AHL this year is a little bit concerning. Yeah. Uh, Taking a look at on a scouting the other report. Hand, uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, we haven't had a scouting report on him this season, but looking at. Uh, stats. The only thing that really stands out is he will lose some time to injuries, but we're losing guys to injuries anyways. Yeah. And the, I guess the comparison there is to Kopitar. Yes. So I don't think he's going to be that good, but, uh, looks like he's a decent two way center. Nice to have. Uh, and yeah, he's, he's probably, if one, if the general consensus is staying two stars and we're seeing one and a half stars, he's probably, you know, Somewhere in the middle there, one and three quarters or something. Yeah, so he's he's right around the bubble of guys we kind of want, and we do need some more forward depth. And the big the big thing to consider here too is we'll be dumping a fairly big contract because Burns has. Yeah, it's not our biggest, but it's well, it's our tied for second biggest. Uh, Eight million a year for three more years after this one, and Burns is thirty six at this point. Yeah, so he's, he's and his scoring has declined this season. Yeah, he's going to be on a sharp decline here. His cap hit's not really going down, so. I mean, it's certainly going to be a, a downgrade okay. this season. It's yeah. Burns is probably still going to be better next year, but then you start getting into a couple of years out, and you're going to be able to sign uh, Zari to a contract, uh, you know, another contract after this one. He's still on the first year of his ELC. Yeah, so just taking a quick look. In the WHL, he had... 67 points, 63 games, 86 points in 57 games, and then 66 points in 64 games in our last year of our in-game stats. And I'm just looking at what's why he's not producing in uh, the AHL for Calgary and Stockton. That that does not look like a very uh, strong team. Strong, yeah, it's actually downright bad. It's the best potential they've got other than him on that team is uh with three stars and okay so looking at his advanced a little bit more of his advanced stats here okay his gf60 actually doesn't look that bad but it also tells you a lot about how his team's doing Welcome to everyone watching the stream as well. Yeah. Um, I, I, I mean, yeah, there's nothing particularly wrong in the advanced stats. Uh, well, look at the difference between home and away. 
Yeah, that's surprising. His PDO's number's pretty good, too, there, if you're looking at the bottom. Uh, 99, 97.9. Well, right around the... So he's he's not particularly lucky or unlucky. Well, it, well, I know, but it's better, than, it's, off, yeah. it's better than seeing it completely unlucky, which means that it oh, also explains why Stockton is kind of the way how they are. I think we got to make this trade. Like, I think so, too. I mean, that's going to write us off for this year, more or less, and we should probably, if we do this, we're, we should probably be taking a look at uh, making a few other future-oriented moves. Uh, All right, Jeff, I'm not talking about the this deadline. Anymore. Just completing the trade. Okay, go ahead. Trade is completed. Boom. We now have Connor Zary. All right. And Actually, you're going to need Nate's defenseman. And are you going to bring Zary up right away? Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> You'll see it on your screen in a minute. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm sorry. Montreal. Montreal is just like, oh, yeah, we need to, we'll take that contract from you here. Uh, him with his. I want, I want to see that first uh, Boston Montreal game after that one. Two points, two points in thirty-two games, and Montreal's like, "Oh yeah, fourth round pick, sure for taking that contract on." Yeah. Whew. Okay. I'm sorry that that cracks me up. All right. So. <laughs> okay. So Connor's always hurt. He's on our team. We're going to actually just send him down because. How bad is he hurt? Yeah, jam finger day to day. We're going to need the space anyways. Yeah, for whatever defense we bring up from the Barracuda. So we're going to send him down. Knyazov okay. uh, seems like the only real option there. Well, we did look before about adding a uh, free agent. Maybe we should take a look at, again at the free agent pool or... I'm not seeing a defenseman there. Were you searching yeah. for... Um, you know, what's that word? What, signable? Or... Yes, yes. Yeah, and there's just... Okay, for some okay. reason, Toronto has Zach Jones on the trade block. There's just, yeah, it's like Taylor Fadoon, uh, Paul Postma, guys who are in their 30s, uh, Paul Ledoux there too. There's just nothing at, the, at this point in the year you're going to get out of the free agent pool. All right. Should we try and grab uh, Zach Jones? Rescue oh, him he, from the Marlies. Is he on the trading block? He is, yes. I wonder what it would oh, cost. It looks like the, the Rangers traded him for uh, Kerfoot. Yeah. So what? To... I don't think the Leafs are going to move him. That's five star potential there. Toronto has a weakness in goaltending. Oh boy. Oh boy, Jeff. Now, what if we threw them Martin Jones? They will never accept this offer. This yeah, offer has no so. basis in it. All right. So, what if we it's don't a send them contract Martin on Jones? Jones? What if we send them Brossois, who's upset about being, and we'll need to throw something else in. So we have a couple extra fifth round picks. It's hardly likely they'll accept this offer. Yeah, no, okay. It's just going to cost us way too much to try and get him, so that's not worth it. Yeah, I didn't think so. Just looking at defensemen otherwise... Yeah, nobody else is really jumping off the page here. Dimitri Orlov, but I don't really think we need him. Uh, Carter Berger from Florida. Way down there? Okay, interesting. They have weakness at goaltender and center. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like Spencer Knight is a little slow to develop for them. Uh, uh, Martin Jones waves his, <laughs> or throws up his no-move clause. Uh, if we offer them Laurent Brossois. 
Have we got anybody on the Barracuda that uh, centers? That's uh, we should wouldn't hurt to push somebody out of there and make a little room for um, Zeri. Yeah, Alexander True, hurt. maybe. True is hurt right now, but he could go. Here, and, McShane okay, would be so another option. I don't really want to give up McShane. Yeah, he is. Isn't that a bad one? Well, not scoring many goals, but okay. I added Zach, productive rookie year. I added Zach Gallant, and it's changed to uh, to uh, this is a well balanced offer. So I wonder if I throw in that fifth round pick because we have three fifth round picks right now. Yep, sure, worth a shot. Uh, Montreal or Chicago? Looking at the stats, who's better, Montreal, Chicago, or us? I think it's Montreal, double-checking, Montreal, 43 points, Chicago, 60, yeah, Montreal. Okay, one Mon still leaves it as a balanced offer, so I'm not sure it's going to go through. So fifth round might not be enough, but we'll try it. We'll try it at that, and we will offer trade, not force trade, and we'll see what happens there. Okay. So we still actually have one extra defenseman, so we can put Ferraro in the lineup, and we don't have to call anybody up for the moment, which might actually make sense because we still need the spot for Anze Kopitar when he comes back. Yeah. Um, plus... Yeah, plus we'll watch waivers, and maybe we'll get lucky and find somebody too. So, yes, let's do that. So we'll add Ferraro, which means we're just going to let the defenseman kind of re-roll here. Ferraro's actually having a pretty good year for a guy who was one and a half stars. Uh, well, yeah, not bad. I think he just got played over his head there a bit, which was causing some issues for him. So that means, okay, Ferraro actually moved on to the first pairing with Carlson, and then Dylan Merkley, Bean, Van Riemsdyk. It's not exactly great having a one-and-a-half star defenseman on our first pairing, but does he have chemistry with Carlson? He does. Okay, so that'll help. Yep. Yeah, that's probably why he's getting put up there. Interesting player on waivers. Okay, all right, all right. Who do we have on waivers? Philip Chapel. Well, that is kind of interesting. And what? Montreal just waved Jesper Konechny. Even though we don't really need him, I think we kind of have to put a waiver claim in on him, don't we? That gives us an option to move somebody else. Uh, again, our poten the potential we're only showing three stars on him. I think we had him a little underrated at this point in the database. Yeah, but if we could move out like Donato or Anthony Duclair, who's on one year left. I'm just adding guys to the trade block like mad now. So Duclair's going on the trade block. Donato's going on the trade block. Even though I know we just signed him. He could replace Noah Gregoire, who hasn't really done much for us. That wouldn't be the worst thing if we got him. You could also displace Eric Halla as our number three center or take Scott Lawton out of the lineup. No, I don't think so. Lawton's three stars. 
He's done a reason well. Not spectacular, but he's been good enough this year. Yeah, and Although that's why he's, he's going on the, the year. He's going on the trade block. Oh, that's right. We actually have to before we go any further, yes, thank you for reminding me of this right now. We need to address this and get some more guys uh resigned. Yeah, hurdle first and foremost. So we're gonna claim Jasperi and see what happens. So upcoming free agents. Well, Ferraro, who we just put in the lineup, we probably want to resign too, right? Yeah, he's only twenty three. He's, he's having a decent year and got some room to grow. You would like him to develop a little okay. faster, but Hurdle wants seven point nine million for six years and a no move clause. He's twenty eight, four stars. He's going to stay at that for a while. Was it six years? Yeah. The no move clause bothers me a bit, but I don't think we're going to be able to get him to waive that. No. Uh, maybe see if you can get him to take that down, take him down to five years. Same money. The money's fine. Five years, and he actually kind of said yes immediately. We did offer him the no movement clause, but no, I think that's the reason he's going to be thirty three at the end of it, and thirty four. All right, I don't really feel like we should be resigning Scott Lawton again. If we can get him, if we get the other guy, then we could easily move him. Oh yeah, and I just uh, checked what he wants, and he's asking four point two million over three years. <laughs> yeah, uh, Ferraro wants nine seventy five. Yeah done for three years uh, response submit offer easy peasy man i wouldn't resign declare yet just because he's probably gonna have more trade value with the uh, oh, yeah. contract it's not worth it van reemsdijk's not getting resigned okay gallant's not getting resigned we will Shmolevsky. we'll qualify both of those guys Chomesky and uh, Ivan Chechnikov or no sorry Chikovic Chikovic Ugh, yeah I knew it as soon as I said it I'm like no that's not right uh we also put, you might as well just put don't, don't auto are you, are you saying you're going to auto qualify him or you yes gonna... yeah I, I said it to be on they won't Remember that they're not going to actually sign a contract if you have the auto, if you have to go to auto qualify. So I should turn it off then? No, you should do, if you want them to actually sign, you have to offer them a real contract auto qualify. Just well, keep their rights. Yeah. I don't know what I want to do yet. I don't know what all I right. want to do yet. If they might be, they might become part of a trade deal too, for all you know, coming up here. We have built up our forward depth. Now we're kind of looking for a good young defenseman to go with uh, the guy we drafted. Shaka. Boom shaka laka. The Jets have claimed Philip Shapelik and we actually got Coconut. Okay, me? Yeah, so he is now on our team. And you'd have to send somebody down, I guess? No, we still have there the room right now because we didn't yet. bring in anybody yet. We are going to at some point here. You're still at six defensemen though, right? Yep. Yeah. Connect me wants fifteen so he can have number fifteen, not a problem. It's gonna have to be out of Shakovich or Shmolevsky. those are the only two that are exempt. Sorry, who? Uh, Chikovic or... Or Shmolevsky. Yeah, Chikovic is the one who's going to be going down. So that still leaves us with room because we still have... I think I come in and connect me. I'd, I guess we're not going to throw him into a lineup right away. Yeah, you could uh, take Gregor out. Uh... 
I don't want to hurt his trade value by taking him out, but all right. Not going to make much of a difference this, in such a short time. Okay, connect me. Okay, he does have some skill in left wing and right wing. Not a lot, but he's 14 and 12, so at least he's not at 10s. So Konechny comes in, and he's playing left wing on the fourth line. I'm going to change that and move him up to the third line and move Donato down. But we're going to change his tactics because he's got to have something better suited than Grinder. Um, hmm. Aggressive four checker. Counter attacking forward. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that sounds better. All right. So we'll put Konechny on the third line, left wing. Although maybe I should move him to center. Yeah, I should do that. Because I forget who's on the third line center. Uh, Hala, maybe? Yeah, he is. So, yeah, that makes more sense if we put him in on its center. Play to his strengths. So, Jeff, it's been a while since we've talked. How do you feel about the NHL playoffs as they've been evolving and unfolding? Do I need to ask how you feel about them? <laughs> how do I feel? Oh, I think everybody knows who's following our Twitter account, which is at Franchise Hockey. There may be some big smiles on there. With yeah, the Jets. Uh, I don't think anybody really saw that coming. You can go back and listen to the podcast and you can hear me. To, and, and I, hear me I don't recall this. you predicting a sweep. I didn't predict a sweep, but I said if Winnipeg gets by, I don't know who's going to stop them until they get to the Eastern Conference. Uh, lots of guys going up, including Jesper Wallstadt, which is important. Yeah. Um. All right, how's Peter Reynolds doing? Oh, he's up to 10 points. Man, he's just not having a great year. You know who is having a pretty good year, though, is Theo Roche, our overage draft pick. 27 points in 37 games. I'm not sure he's ever going to be any uh, more than a depth guy, but... Okay year. Not fantastic. I will take any win we can get. We needed more depth. We're getting more depth. Ooh, Jake Bean has increased. Connor's area got better at his stick checking already. So think about this. We just radically changed our center depth by adding Connor's area and then our waiver claim. Picking up Kotkaniemi, yeah. Yeah. Brendan Dillon's going down. Ryan Merkley keeps going up slowly. Shooting range for him goes up. All right. NHL Players of the Month. Alex Ovechkin and Ilya Samsonov. All right. Play game here versus Seattle. Oops, I forgot to change that. After all we did was talk. Nope, still clicked on the wrong one. Let's try this again. Uh... All right. Yep, yeah, like it. Sim this game out, and we lose. 4-3. And considering that's a team we've got to catch, or one of the teams we've got to catch for the playoffs, that kind of hurts. Yeah, we were down 3 nothing, and then got it to 3-2 in the second, and then tied it, and then they scored really late. We scored late, they scored later. Uh, taking a look. Ferraro had... 66 defensive game rating, not a great offensive game rating, but I'll take the defensive game rating. Jake Bean, 80 defensive game rating. All right. Logan Courture, ugh, 39 defensive game rating. That's not good. Hurdle, 40 defensive game rating. Up and down, connect. He had minus one, three shots. One hit, 59 seconds of power play time. 
All right. Continuing on. No, I think uh, the biggest surprise, and this is a spoiler if you're watching the game tonight or if you're watching it on YouTube, well, then it's already happened quite a while ago, is uh, Pittsburgh losing already. Yeah, that's, uh, I mean, the Islanders aren't a bad team, but you got to wonder where Pittsburgh goes from here, eh? Yeah, I, I kind of thought that they might be able to get in a run, but I mean, their goaltending has really let them down. And so... I'll be curious to see if they go to try and find somebody. Because I can't imagine they're going to be too worried about protecting any of their goaltenders. So I could easily see Pittsburgh, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, is trying to trade for one of, uh, um, what's his name in Florida? Drieger. Board conference update. Allison Platter thinks it's a great success and an outstanding shape. However, the last few weeks, performance needed to improve. We are 7 6 and 0. Despite your current performance with the team, he's concerned about our work as general manager of the Sharks. You have to sustain good work for the good work of this season. Well, that's not great. Florida has rejected our trade, but they say it's close to being all right for Carter Berger. So can we make it work? Let's take away the fifth round pick and add a fourth round pick. And a fifth round pick? No, just do the fourth. No, it doesn't seem to change yeah. it. No, I'll, then. I'll still just try. I wonder if I... We'll just change the pick and see if that alone is enough. Just taking a look actually at our job security here really quick. And yeah, we're still high enough, but we're not super high enough. Boy, yeah. Okay. We lost minus 10 in fan happiness for trading away Brent Burns. <laughs> yeah, that hurt. Yeah. We're giving him a chance to go chase the elusive Stanley Cup, though, apparently. I mean, not a very good one, because Calgary's farther back than we are. <laughs> they were the Stanley Cup champions. They've just been doomed back to reality. Yeah, Stanley Cup to uh, well, worse than the division and second worst in the conference. It'll be a lottery pick this year, actually. Oh, no. Actually, technically, we will be, too, the way this is going. Our chance at it. Although, Arizona, boy, 30 points. Yeah, they just uh, pretty much completely fell apart this season. Yeah. Well, we're talking about real NHL playoffs too, or go back in, back to that. I was surprised Boston so thoroughly handed it to Washington. No, that was, well, they were my pick for coming out of the East, so it didn't surprise me that much. Be curious to see what Ovechkin's going to do now, though. Yeah, and we actually pick up a win versus LA, so yay, four nothing shutout. Kalarn, Ferraro, Lawton, Couture. Excellent. Interesting. Jones and goal, too. Yep. Interesting player on waivers. Oh, we have some players, but they're all forwards. So, not what we're looking for. Yeah, I. I mean, there's three. Colorado going straight through it was not a surprise. Yeah, definitely not. Just as much as it wasn't a surprise when Kadri got suspended. <laughs> I don't know what is uh, what is up with him in the playoffs. Looks like uh, Florida's done. Uh, they just Tampa just got an empty netter on him. Right. Forty two left in the third, and they're up three nothing. That will be. And Florida still says no way to. 
all that, that was even with the extra draft pick in? with just the fourth round instead of the fifth round what if we do you have any rights to players we don't need um, what what position did they need oh goalie center never mind it's right on my screen how about you read what your screen says could try and stick him with Peter Reynolds. Oops. Because it doesn't look like that's going anywhere. Okay, how about if we send the rights to Scott Reedy, who I don't think is going to go anywhere, and we'll throw back in that fifth round pick. Two and a half stars, I don't think that's going to do anything. Reynolds is still showing three and a half stars, and I don't think, but he's one ability. I don't think he's going to get there. We will find out soon enough. Anze Kopitar is ready to return. So he returns to the active roster. Which means now we have to pull somebody else out, which means Gregoire is not in. Which I... Our lowest guy left is going to be connect me so I guess he's coming out for now or yep yeah, no it's got to be connect me coming out All right, we're going to take all the lines off here. Unless we want to take someone like Goche out, who's not part of the of what's going forward anyway. So maybe we should do that. Yeah, his contract's done at the end of the year, and uh, doesn't really see, I can't see it see, serving any purpose to keep giving him playing time. He's there if we need to fill him, need somebody to fill a spot, but. All right, let's see what happens with the lines. Uh, okay, that's interesting. Uh, no, we're not doing this. It puts Scott Lawton as the number two setter and Kopitar on the fourth line. Uh, I don't like that. Declare is still not getting outpaced. There. Kalorn is somehow on the fourth line, which I also don't like. Eighteen, sixteen, fourteen, twelve. Yeah, that should be about right. And okay, so it messed all our lines up again. And Jake Beans now on the top pairing with Carlson, Dylan, Merkley, Ferraro. I, you know, I'm going to keep Ferraro up on the top pairing. That chemistry he has shouldn't be overstated. All right, who is on waivers? Travis Frederick. And the Lightning are getting ready to fire their coach. John Cooper leads them to a 500 record because they're in salary cap hell. And dumping players left and right, yeah.
And so it continues on. And a few more things. Game versus Edmonton. Gives Roik in the net again. Hopefully he can come out with, and he does come out with a win. We win 3-1. And good news, Konechny was the number three star with a goal. Excellent. And the Panthers still say no to that offer. Okay, hold on. Connor Zaria has a great game. He had four assists playing with the Barracuda. Nice. So, uh, he's got five assists total in three games. So, yeah, I think whatever Calgary was doing with him in Stockton, uh, that was more the organization than him. Okay, it seems like we're not going to be able to get Carter Berger. Uh, to bed. Okay, unless you really want me to try. I'd say just maybe leave it till the uh, the deadline is. Oh, Olympics are starting tomorrow, by the way. So we're going to have a few days off here. Uh, we're going to have a uh, trading deadline coming up on in two weeks. So we can try to force something through then. And you may yet get a guy, get an offer for one of the guys you got in the block. Okay, well, if I change it to Peter Reynolds and add a draft pick, it changes to. They will probably do. They will probably accept this offer. Well, you can try it. Curious to see how many guys we go have going to the Olympics. Sorokin seems pretty likely. Uh, Carlson for sure. Yep. Hurdle. Meyer. Yep. Yep. Otherwise, I can't really think of too much. Well, it's possible somebody in the AHL goes too. I don't even know what we teams are actually in the Olympics. Should show up. Uh, should be there right now, actually. All right. Yes, we have lost <laughs> so many players. No, oh, how many? Uh, Jack Campbell is is on waivers, but I don't think. Okay, Sorokin, Carlson, Halla. Hurdle and Meyer are all gone. Now I'm curious if I check. Have nobody on Canada or the U.S.? Yeah, and we lost two guys on our AHL team. Alexander True and Joaquin Blickfield? Blickfeld? Blickfeld, oh, both to Denmark, yeah. No. Yeah. So not bad, not bad. Just, and just keep your fingers crossed that nobody gets hurt. Uh, is, it, is there no p pause in the season? I have to actually Could look be. at the schedule. Yeah, so. We shall see, we shall see. Yeah, we've got, uh, we're off until the 24th now. That's the trading deadline. Fantastic. Or not. Maybe not at all. So just keep an eye on the Olympics here, I guess. Yeah, we'll take a look to see what Team Canada and the USA look like. Austin Wagner. So Sam Bennett wanted like $2 million from us. He just signed with the Leafs for 700000 Yeah, wasn't getting any buyers. Uh, 
Wow, the Leafs traded Ilya Mikulov for a second round pick. Okay, he had he was a fifty three points in fifty seven games. Expiring contract. Yeah. Um, Ilya Sorokin participated in the nine one win of Russia over Norway. Kevin Fiala had three uh, had a hat trick in Switzerland over Sweden. Wow, Eric Carlson played 13 minutes and 31 seconds for Sweden. Jonathan Huberdeau had five points in Canada's 15 nothing win over Slovakia. <laughs> Whoa, what went wrong with Slovakia there? Who's, who's Slovakia got? I don't know. Not much. Let's see here. Uh, I don't recognize anybody until Eric Cernak. And then Thomas Tatar. Wow. I didn't realize things were going that badly for him. Jeez, that's awful. Richard Panic. Yeah. Uh, Marco Dano. Ruzinka. Uh, there's a few names there I recognize, but not many. All right, let's look at Team Canada's roster. Tristan Jari and Bennington and Price are in net. I don't think Jari's going to get a vote of confidence after this playoff run in real life. Uh, Shea Theodore, Morgan Riley, Alex Petrangelo, Coton Parenko, Brent Burns. Well, okay, there would have been another guy for us if we hadn't shipped him out. Uh, Cal McCarr, Drew Doughty, Shea Weber. Taylor Hall, Claude Giroux, Jonathan Huberdeau, Connor McDavid, Stephen Stamkos, Sidney Crosby, Ryan O'Reilly, Mark Shifley, Matt Duchesne, Braden Point, uh, Sean Couturier, and Mitch Marner, our Team Canada. Yeah, some uh, a couple interesting choices there. Yeah, I don't say anything too wild. I don't think Matt Duchesne probably makes the next day. If the NHL players, in fact, go. No, well, I mean, that's this database that you're yeah. using is a few months old. So. Yes, and I don't think Braden Point probably makes that team either. Defense not 100% sure about either, for that matter. All right, so Team Canada looks pretty good. Bidding can seems debatable, too, after another bad playoff here. All right. Man. Wait for the U.S. highlights to come in so we can take a look at that team. I'd imagine there's going to be a swath of Winnipeg Jets on it, though. Finland defeats Denmark, 7-2. All right. Canada defeats Switzerland, 7-1. Ooh. Canada off to a good start. Sweden defeats Slovakia. And look what look at the top there. I know, I saw it. So we're getting rid of Peter Reynolds. Yep, because I think that's just gonna go downhill from here. All right, we will complete that trade then and bring in Carter Berger. More importantly, we also dumped a couple contracts. Yeah, he was our second round pick. Did we? Oh man, we lost minus four for trading away Laurent Brossard. So between trading a very recent draft pick and Brossard, we lost minus five in fan happiness. You should also bring up uh, okay. Renock from um, ECHL to for. Well, they have Buda. they put Brossard back on waivers. Should I just grab him back? No, I don't do that. No, no, you sure? Uh, who is the defenseman? Berger. I'm going to send Berger down right now, actually. Let's keep him in the AHL and keep playing. Um, oh, sorry. You wanted me to move. Hernak up. Yeah. ECHL to AHL. Is 
which means we are hurting a little bit in our goalie depth now. Not really. We still got four. Yeah, but if something happens to something. one of our goalies, we're in trouble. Not really, because San Jose can sign somebody temporarily. So there's, go there's plenty of goalies out there to sign for a few games. I, I meant we have Martin Jones as our number one, and then Joseph Cornier. Why is, who's, why is Jones the number one? If Sir, Well, because Sorokin's the one in the Olympics. Well, Sorokin gets hurt, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I mean, we're not playing any games right now, so. I, so I said, if Sorokin gets hurt in the Olympics. Yeah, okay, well, let's hope that doesn't happen. Did you have a look at the U.S. team yet? No, they haven't popped up in the storyline yet. I've been waiting for the storyline to come. Apparently we're advancing past multiple days here because there's nothing going on. So I'm just going to stop us. Yep. Typical Blackhawks with eight overtimes. From Overtime wins, yeah. Oh, okay. There we go. I'm like, what? Oh, yeah. Okay. Not uh, octuple overtime. I was trying to. Okay, here we go. Uh, we can finally see what the Russians team is. Oh, Sweden defeats Canada. Ouch. 5-3. Switzerland defeats Slovakia. Russia defeats the United States. But it doesn't... Oh, it doesn't give me the U.S. team. Come on, man. Uh, we'll just have to keep looking here. Wow. Kasperi Kapanen gets traded to the St. Louis Blues for a first-round pick. He's on the move again. And Boston and Trent Frederick have terminated their contract. And apparently the Red Wings just traded for Jack Campbell and then they immediately decided to terminate that contract. We don't want him anymore. Apparently he was a bad fit in the room. All right, I guess we're going to have to go look up manually to see <laughs> how the USA actually looks. Okay, hold on. Te Let's look at the Olympic team from China. Which twelve nothing lost to Sweden. <laughs> okay, it's not generating a team. That's weird. Hold on. Uh, select term Winter Olympics. They may already be eliminated. Oh, they were. That's why. Yep. Yeah, so they've released the players back to the... All right, so as expected, Connor Hellebuck is goaltender. John Gibson and Ben Bishop as 2-3. Oh, we're actually into the playoffs. Was that Canada losing to Sweden? Was that the playoff round? I, I don't, I'm just, I'm just... Hold on. Ryan Sutter, Jacob Slavin, Quinn oh, Hughes, Seth Jones, John Carlson, Charlie McAvoy, Jeff Petrie, Cam Fowler, Kyle Connor, Jonathan Goudreau, Anders Lee, J. T. Miller, Austin Matthews, Dylan Larkin, Jack Eichel, Brock Nelson, Patrick Kane, Blake Wheeler, as I expected, TJ O.C. and Matthew Kachuk. Decent looking U.S. team. Not a great team, but... Yeah, maybe better goaltending in Canada. Canada's playing Sweden, yes, next. Canada got the pass as did the U.S. and Russia and Finland. 
All right. And Denmark, actually, I don't know that's Slovakia they beat, so I guess that's not that much of an upset the way the Slovakian team is. You take every win you can get. Bottom half of that bracket is tough. The Americans and the uh, Russians have it easier. Yes. Tyler Mott gets traded to Toronto. Was playing in the ECHL and is now on the NHL team. All right. And Brennan Dillon just got injured. Remember so when, we are going to need to call defenseman up. Remember when you said nobody's getting hurt during those games? Bruised hip. Wasn't even away and gets hurt. Uh, Switzerland edges Russia. Czech Republic defeats Finland. Sweden defeats Canada. Switzerland beat Russia? Yes. Yeah. 5-4. It's by Russia. By Russia. Not uh... Switzerland beat, edged, same thing. All right, so yes, we are going to have to call a uh, defenseman up if Dylan's not quite ready to go, which means we're going to have to send somebody else down, though, too. Shmolevsky or Djokovic, whichever one is still up. Malevsky, the only one that's waiver exempt. Yep. Oh, that's not the right button. Depth chart, which means we're calling up these nets of. All right. Oh, a bunch of player on waivers, but I don't think we really need anybody, but. Do we need a one-star goalie? I don't think so. You sure? I'm pretty sure. Merrick Madsen? All right. Is David Ayer still available? I imagine he would be. I think he's retired, actually. Yep, he's retired. All right, more interesting player on waivers as we're four days away from the deadline. And there's one, Dryden Hunt. Not a big deal. Uh, player needs to be assigned number, which is Kuznetsov. He wants number eight, but we're not giving him that number. So we'll give him 88 because that one's free now. Oh no, stop. Stop. It'll stop the deadline? I know. I'd like it to stop the day before, though, because we need to make some decisions on if we're going to move guys. Because we can't move any, as much as I hate to say this, we can't move anybody who's going to be a fan favorite and take that hit. 
unless we're getting somebody amazing back. All right. Logan Shaw gets traded to Philadelphia for a fifth round pick. All right. Sweden with the gold. Yes. Over the U.S.? No, no. United States edge by Sweden. Oh, yeah, okay. Yep. And, all right, so there's some players on waivers, but nobody of... Okay, there actually is some defensemen here, so let's look at the waivers. Oh, wow, that's lots of guys. Uh, Matt Benning. Robert Haig. Carson Kuhlman. Nobody amazing standing out, but a couple two-star defensemen. Not really. I mean, that doesn't really do much for us. No. Not too much at all. All right. So if if I'm looking at this, and all right, uh, we'll just advance one day. And well, I guess this will be our final day, and we'll kind of wrap it up here as we see if we can make any more moves to either pick up some draft picks or. Yep. Oh, oh boy, we have a ton of trade proposals. All right. Uh, Ottawa has offered us 22-year-old center Angus Crookshanks for 30-year-old defenseman Trevor Van Riemsdyk. Uh, nothing amazing there, so I'm going to say no to that. Yeah, Even though I do no. absolutely love the name Angus Crookshanks. <laughs> because, yes, that's how you have to say that name. Uh, Minnesota Wild offer us 21-year-old defenseman Kalen Addison for Anthony Duclair? Absolutely. We are absolutely making that deal. Four-star talent potential defenseman for Duclair. Former second-round pick of Pittsburgh. Yeah. All day. It's been great in the AHL so far, but... Uh... I mean, like literally almost a point a game in the AHL, but NHL not so good. Well, he's only 20. Minus, minus 25 in 43 games last year. Ouch. I don't care. We're making that trade. That's uh, okay. He's, just like him from his, he's from Brandon. I mean, just taking a quick look here. Okay, so 25-year-old Braden Burke for Noah Gregoire. No, thank you. Uh, 26-year-old set. Oh, that's horrible. No, reject. I'm not even going to attempt to say that name for Brendan Dillon, Jeff. I'm waiting for it to get to it. Uh, he's a, I can't, the text is a little funny. Hang on. I got to look it up. Chris Medinov. He's a Medinov. He's a Medinov. Yeah, I don't think we're making that trade for Brendan Dillon, even though it'd be nice to get rid no. of that contract. New. No. And I think we, we may need the depth there for Dillon, just to see young guys. Uh, it may take a little while to come up. Okay, we're not re-signing Frederick Goche, but we could get Jack Gornick, who's 22 years old. Uh, he doesn't really have a lot of points. So unless we were trying to flip him. Jack Gornick from Montreal. How much of a contract does he have left? 
Who, Goche or Gorniak? Gorn, yeah, Gorniak's still signed for three years at the minimum. Yeah. So I'm hoping we could flip him, though. We, yeah, we I mean, it's, we there's, really there's more value there than... Uh, All right, let's complete Well, that then again, trade. Goche's... Too late. It's done. <laughs> I was just going to say shop Goche and see what you get. Maybe you get something better, but... <laughs> <laughs> Ottawa Senators would like to send you 38 year old Ilya Kovalchuk for 27 year old centerman Scott Lawton. <laughs> uh, no. Well, how's he done this year, actually? He's, 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 no, he's not, he hasn't had a terrible year. He hasn't, but we're not making that trade. All right, so are, are we good then making this trade of, of trading away Anthony DeClaire, who was a hero for us last year, but we actually have that forward depth now. We can move him for Cal Addison, who gives us a lot more potential on the back end. Yeah, I, yeah, I, like, that. Yeah. I like that move. So we're doing that. And so that changes our team around a lot. And gives I'm going to miss seeing uh, DeClaire injured every couple of weeks, so. Yeah, but, you know, man, he did his job. I'm going to take this Jack Gornack, and we're going to shop him around, see what happens. Oh, boy, he looks worse. I think I saw half half a star there. A half a star and two. We did not have a good scouting report on him. So Ouch. can we get a good draft pick for him? I'll take a bad draft pick for him. A fifth round from Toronto. Oh, Okay. Good Fifth enough. round from Chicago next year. I'm going to reject that because I'd rather have the pick this year. Buffalo offers a fifth round next year. No. Oh, Calgary, our old trade friends, Calgary is offering a fifth round pick this year. And they're, that'll be borderline second because they're having a terrible year. Yeah. Carolina is offering a fifth round this year. Colorado is offering a fifth round this year. Calgary's still going to be the best one, though. Yeah, Tampa also offering a fifth round. So, all right, we got... Okay, so we turned away a player we didn't want into a fifth round pick. I'm, I'm okay with that. Hmm. All right, so do we want to try and send anyone else away? Sadly, no offers for Jones, and he's still got that no-trade contract. Yeah, that one hurts a bit, but let's just think here for a second. I have... All right, should I try shopping Scott Lawton around, or should I leave him? No, if you're not going to sign him, you might as well shop him. Hold on, i got to look at something on my job security. Okay, it doesn't look like we got a bonus for signing him, but I feel like we're going to get a hit when we trade it, try and trade him away. But let's find out. Scott Lawton, what are you worth? Montreal offers 27-year-old C.J. Smith. No. No, we're not trading for another 27-year-old center. Okay. Chicago offers us Dennis Mulgin and a seventh round pick. I think yeah, I'd rather start. I think I'd rather keep Scott Lawton for the end of the year, but we can talk about it in a minute. Uh <laughs> 34-year-old Nick Felino. No. Shipkayov? No, thank you. 23-year-old defenseman Kale Clegg. Mm. 
I'm intrigued by that. I'm intrigued by that. Yeah, we keep getting defensemen. Christian Fisher, a seventh round pick. No. Clegg is on. Ryan off. Murray. Looks like he's re signed. He's got a three year contract at the minimum. And Vancouver wants to send us Petrus Palmu and a seventh round pick. That's actually pretty good. Although I don't know how we had no, Palmu's. I think we have bumped the ratings up later in the season, but that's actually a pretty good deal. He's okay. Again, trying to debate if it's worth getting rid of a guy who I think we're actually going to get hit of because it would be like, oh, it's a well-liked locker room guy. Okay, this one looks a little bit more appealing. Carolina sends 23-year-old right wing it to two little. I'm not even sure. Tulolo and the Tulolo. seventh round pick. That yeah, that's maybe slightly better than the uh, Palmu one from Vancouver. Carl Hagelin. No, thank you. We could pick up some poo for him. Poo in a seventh. But poo's all maxed out, so probably not. Yeah, no. All right, so... I would pick the Carolina one, I think. Over Cal Clegg? Yeah, just because we've got... We're piling up so many young defensemen, we're going to run out of places to put them. I think we can do more with the forward and we get that pick on top of it. All right. I guess the other thing is we could try and shop the forward too. Oh, I missed two trade proposals. Oh, man. Oh, that one's not a loss. Okay, they both weren't losses. That's a good thing. Should I try try uh, sending uh, it to to Lola? Put him on. If you got a trade, if you got a shop option left today, you might as and you don't want to do anything else. You can try to take a look. Okay, we got a handful of offers. So what can we get? Toronto is offering us a fifth round pick. All right, so Chicago's offering us a fifth round pick next year. Who do we get him from, by the way? I'm just sorry, my brain is broke. Carolina, okay. Yeah. Uh, LA is offering us a fifth round pick this year, but they're better than Toronto. Dallas is offering us a fifth round pick. Okay, that's better. Vancouver. Okay, Vancouver's offering a fifth round pick. They're pretty terrible. Sorry, Jeff. No, they have been bad in this game. Oh, oh, there is the winner. Arizona wants to offer us a fifth round pick. Oh, yeah. So that's basically a fourth round pick. As I just checked to make sure somebody didn't throw in a weird higher round pick. All right, so we check that trade. We check that trade. Reject that trade. And we will make this trade with Arizona. All right, so we've added some more draft picks. 
Is there anyone else who want to try and move? Uh, who's left on our trading block? I'm taking Van Riemsdyk off. Might as well we take Dylan have... off too. Might as well take, sorry, who? Dylan. I'm taking Donato off right now. Uh, we still have Noah Gregoire. I don't have a shot. Well, with after after trading Declare, uh, I think we may want to keep him just because we need the depth. All right. So let's see. We have one, two. And he's cheap. Oh, Ferraro actually got up two stars. All right. Oh, there we go, finally. So arguably we don't have room for Kale Addison right now, so I guess we send him down. Or, well, no, we could play him instead of Van Riemsdyk. How long has Dylan gone for? Oh, that's right. I forgot. He's day-to-day. I forgot he's still dressed. So I'll Leave just put... it for now until and then uh, set one of them down when Dylan's back. You're right. So I'll put him in. Um, I need another forward brought up is what we're at now. So depth charts. Djokovic back up or? I was going to say Tristan Smarovsky. Robbins. What about Zary then? If you're going to bring up a center. Oh, yeah, that's who I was. Well, uh, we've had Robbins up. He's had five points in 11 games, 27.45. You want to bring Zary up and give him a shot? Take a quick look, if nothing else. We could bring both of them up, too. We have the roster space. Ah, uh, no, we'll hold on to the roster space because maybe there'll be somebody on waivers we need to claim. All right. So I'll put Zeri up and we'll carry. Yep. Injured list. Okay. Lines. Let's see what happens here. All right. Hurdle, Mayo, Couture, Kopitar, Donato, Nieto. Uh, I'm going to put Kalorn back up. Ah, uh, no. Kalorn's going to go on the second line right side. Keeps trying to put Kokoneki on the fourth line, but I like him up higher. All right, what do you think of those lines, Jeff, When as you see them? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that works. All right, game versus Detroit here. Apparently, we forgot to sign numbers. Kale Addison wants number two. That's fine. Connor Zeri wants 18, but Noah Gregoire already has that, so he's going to have number 19 instead. All right, everybody's good and happy playing the game. And we lose in Sorokin's first game back. That was probably a mistake. I should have sat him. All right, with that, I don't think we're going to do anything more in the trade deadline. Do you? No. Yeah, so let's just advance the day and we'll see if anyone amazing happens. Oh, Tommy Lee in the chat says, uh, I actually know Ryan Murray. Well, his dad more. Yeah. Interesting. All right, as we uh, advance the day... 
I'll just start doing the wrap up here. So thank you very much for tuning into another Franchise Hockey Manager stream. We typically stream every Wednesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern on twitch.tv slash OOTP Developments. All of our streams are archived on our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash OOTP Developments as well. You can also reach out to us on our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash Franchise Hockey Manager. On Twitter, we're at Franchise Hockey. We can also find a link to our official Discord in our Twitter bio, of course, you can come on down to our official website, which is otpdevelopments.com. Click on the community button in the top right-hand corner, which brings you to our official forums. We can come talk about Franchise Hockey Manager, Out of the Park Baseball, Perfect Team, Go, or anything else you wish to discuss. Jeff, did I miss anything? No, I think you covered pretty much everything there. All right, we're going to give Jones the start here. Chicago, as we sim through. Again, and we Jones picks up the win. Wow, Sergey. Okay, I didn't know that. Sergey Brobowski is in Chicago, of all places. All right. So with that, Thank you very much, and we'll see you all again next week with Jeff as we return back to the reborn WHA. And hopefully you're still playing as the Cincinnati Stingers unless you got fired. Oh, well, we didn't in the offseason, so I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Well, at least till September, right? True. Sure. <laughs> all right, so thank you very much for tuning in, and we will see you all again next week.